Recording. Yeah. Start it. Should start recording our stuff. W. Okay. So you guys see my screen? Yeah. So it's just like you want to sketch something. We're just doing like basic shapes to start. Yeah, you know, I'll do a triangle. Very cool. Hopefully that works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then you can, what you want to do is exit sketch reference geometry and you get a point and then it's evenly distribute points hopefully it'll go on all of these oh no i think i have to make a, a fit spline first so because it's like sharp angles i don't think it works right away Oh man. Wouldn't it be under fillet or whatever? The what? To make the corners not sharp. I don't think that's the, the issue with it. It's just gotta be like one continuous line. I think it has to be a spline to do this. Okay. Yeah, I'll do it with a, just a circle. That's gonna be hell. What would you model. do this with before Adam? I kind of just made a spline, so it's one constant thing. Okay. Yeah, sorry. This is going to suck when we try and model more complex things. Well, no, as you get more complex, it'll probably be rounder. It'll be easier. Yeah, so I'll just do a circle. And I think you want it to be. Oh. Let's let's not just do a circle because doing a circle doesn't help us. Okay. 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 Do like right. maybe a semicircle with a back half of a rectangle or something. Or if I just do like a spline, kind of like an air form. Yeah, that uh, works. That yeah. works too, actually. This is what I did before to figure it out. So yeah, you got that. Okay. <laughs> um. And then back to where I was, reference geometry. Oh, I'm not exit the sketch. Reference geometry point. Select that. Evenly distribute. Might want more. Go 100. Um, yeah. And then what you want to do is you like select all of the points and the sketch. Um, and then create, oh, I, I guess I go select again, create new sketch and then select all of them. Oh, come on. There we go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. And then you go convert entities. So it basically just makes it all that one sketch. So sketch gonna, three. I'm just gonna hide. Oh, yeah, that's sketch three now. I'm just hiding them all so we can only see sketch three. Okay, that's good. You got this one. Oh, we're still in the sketch. So I'm gonna zoom in and delete the actual spline. Oh yeah, that's, I thought I hit that. Yeah, so now it's all the points. And what we're gonna do is um, copy this sketch to bring it into a new one. Oh wait, sorry. Select it. Oh, move. There we go. Uh, edit, copy. What? Oh, because I'm still in it. Sorry. Yeah. Exit sketch always. Edit, copy. Oh, God. Did it just copy the name? I hope not. I'll do it one more time. Then, new drawing. Third part. 
Um, yeah, you can just uh, paste, I think. Yeah, and there it is. Lined wow. up with the front plane. So now what you want to do is save it as um, tutorial. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Oh, you want to save it as an IGS file? And go into the document, document, uh, where did I? Yeah, this one. You want to change the, uh, rename it. Is it not letting me rename again? I, I hate this so much. I hate Windows. Uh, yeah, I guess I got to change my settings again. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Adam, right click on the yeah. file and find like open file path or open file location. Where's that? No. Oh, there it is. Yeah. yeah. Try renaming it there. Oh, okay. Thanks. You can't. You can't rename from that like quick menu. Yes. Yeah, so. Oh, okay. So yeah, you just change the IGS to CSV. It tells you that. It 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 still is readable. It gives you this document with. Just a whole lot of shit. Oh, yeah. Um, but basically, you scroll until you see that looks like coordinates. Those are, that's, those are the values you want. So you just delete everything that's not that. Um, and then once, once you, you can save it as a text file, and then, again, just change the... Um, Mm -hmm. the, the file type to dot uh, dat and then you can open it in XFLR5 so I don't have to actually go through that yeah um, is there any way to do this for more sharp edges or is it only for crypto or no edges I think it might have to be like one continuous blind but there's there's probably a way. I'm just not familiar enough with SolidWorks that I know. Like, I just, I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like the concept is we just need to sketch with points. Yeah, you could probably just manually add a bunch of points or you can do, yeah, I probably could have just done each line. Like when I did that triangle, I could have done it on one line got all the points and then again just convert all the point entities to one sketch for except for five now that i think about it it should be fine like if you're doing straight edges like lines it's probably fine if you only have the start and end point of line because all it does is linear interpolate between the two anyway if that makes sense So that Actually, again? no. Scratch that. What I just said was a lie. What? I was going to say, so like the shape would come out fine in XFLR5 if you only had like the start and end points of a line segment. But the method it uses relies on there being multiple nodes uh, along the path of the shape. Yeah. So basically you just wouldn't have data between the start and end points. And that's a problem. Oh, like as in there'd just be a gap in the, the airfoil wouldn't be complete. You would so see the sh you would see the shape just fine, but when the computer goes to do the math on it, you'll have problems. Okay. Adam, I don't do know you remember do you remember the finite difference method? Do you remember the finite difference method from heat transfer? Yeah. 
So you remember how it's based on all those nodes along the grid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so obviously your, resol your result gets better the higher resolution you have as it mm -hmm. goes to interpolate between all these values. So if you only have the start and end value to interpolate between, it's only going to come up with one thing. Whereas, you know, if you have 25 nodes along the section, you're going to get a much better result, a much more accurate result. Yeah. Right. Um, so okay, we I'll do just... need lines or points. Let's see if I can. Uh... Oh, yeah, so now it's the text file. Um, rename that file. Oh, oh, of course, save. Okay, but yeah, are there any other steps that anyone's confused on? Like once you're in XFLR5, there's all those tutorials that Ethan said. I'm still going through those. Um, we can kill the recording now, Ricky, if you want. Yep, yep.